we need to find the nature of roots of the following quadratic equations. Note that we've been asked only for the nature of the roots and not values of the roots. The first thing we need to know is that for the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, the roots are given by this formula. And the nature of the roots depends on this value, which is called the discriminant. If it's greater than 0, then the quadratic equation will have two distinct real roots. If it's equal to 0, then the quadratic equation will have equal real roots. And if it's less than 0, then the quadratic equation will have no real roots. Keep this idea in mind, let me solve the first one for you. The first thing we need to do is find the values of a, b and c. Comparing the first equation with the general form, we get the value of a as 9, b as negative 12 and c as 4. Now it's easy to calculate the value of b squared minus 4ac. It will equal negative 12 squared minus 4 times 9 times 4. Negative 12 squared is 144 and 4 times 9 times 4 is also 144. So we get the value of the discriminant as 0. What does this tell us? It tells us that this quadratic equation has two equal and real roots. Try solving for the roots and verify your answer. Now I want you to try finding the nature of the roots of the second question. Comparing the second equation with the general form, we get the value of a as 2, b as negative 9 and c as 4. What will be the value of b squared minus 4ac then? It will equal 49 which is positive. This quadratic equation will have two distinct real roots as its discriminant is positive. And you should be able to solve the third one easily. We get the value of the discriminant as negative 7. This quadratic equation will have no real roots. You should try solving the above equations to verify your answer and it's a good chance for practice too.